All right, well tonight my cats, they are now on Mormido all the time. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the cat food here. I've got two cats, so I go ahead and I split the cat food up here. I'm gonna show you, because they're adjusting to this here right now. And what I do is I take the Mormido here. Okay, I'm making superhuman cats. I go ahead and I, you know, I give them a half, uh, 0.5 ml every time I do this. So right there, the second line. And I go ahead and I just put this right, right like that, right there, hook it up. Nice little dosey dose right there. Then cat number two gets a little, little something. They're sitting here waiting for the food right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give them their, their good medicine right here. Okay, and I go ahead and I put that on there, like da, 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 right there. Okay, okay, they, uh, yeah, they're they're uh, getting used to this right now. And uh, then what I do is I go ahead and I just mix this up. So I kind of um, get it all in there really good. Okay, kind of make a little pate mix right there going on like this. Um, and uh, mix it up until it's all not on the bottom there. A little special meal right here. Mmm, so tasty. Look at that. Doesn't that look tasty? Yeah. Uh, and then I go ahead and do the other one right here. Okay, and um, I'm going to show you guys what's up here. We're going to go ahead and mix that up right there good like that. You know, a little Martha Stewart style here. A little classic pate. Okay, there we go. Um, this is bought, brought to you by Friskies today. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and more Mido, co-sponsored. Well, Friskies is the co-sponsor. Okay, there we go. So we got this right here. Now we're going to go ahead and give it to the cats. So let's go ahead. I'm going to put them up here right here so that they're just begging for the, the yum yums here. Come on, bud. This is Oreo, okay, and he's going to go ahead and eat this. Um, he's... Uh, they're not, some of the, this is the, the uh, not the pet formula. So this is actually, golly G. he's uh he's a little bit better at eating it. Hi, say hi, golly G. He's, uh, there you go, bud, here, here. And so um, he doesn't like to be filmed too much. But anyways, um, I'll tell you, share with you this. This is very interesting. Here, he's uh, eating the food right there. So I got a, a story to share with you. Uh, golly G never liked to go outside so much. There you go, bud. Okay, Golly G is about nine years old. My other um, Oreo is about, um, let's see, see, he's digging it right there, right? So uh, Oreo is about uh, two and a half years old now, about there. And Golly G, he just, he doesn't like to go outside too much, okay? He, is, he doesn't really like to go outside too much typically. Um, I don't know, I, 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 I adopted Golly G and Golly G was about five years old when I adopted him, so I've had him for about four years now. And Golly would never want to go outside at all. He's, um, I would leave the door open, he would never go outside. I would actually have to pick him up, and I'd put him outside, and he'd go like this. He would be uh, upset when I tried to put him outside. Now, Golly G, on the Mormido, he's actually talking to me, I will call it telepathically, because that's how cats do it, right? They kind of look at you and kind of hint at what they want, right? Golly G is going outside. He actually looks at me next to the door and he's like this now. This is happening. He's been on this stuff for uh, 48 hours, going on to almost 72 hours now. And Golly G wants to go outside now. And not only that, Golly G is now running through the house. He never has run through the house ever. Y yesterday and today, he's actually ran through the house. Uh, just like having fun. I could see him actually having fun running through the house. And then he went out, he wants to go outside. And so it's kind of like the trauma, the fear of going, I don't know what it is. He just, he's not depressed maybe so much. Hey bud, you know, he's a, um, he's a really good guy, <laughs> okay? And so he's actually being more motivated in uh, becoming a superhuman, uh, uh, a super pet. You know what I'm saying? So Oreo, on the other hand, Oreo is right down here, right there. He's getting down, getting down to more Mito right there. And Oreo is, um, I don't know, they seem to be getting along better. They typically fight, so this is kind of new. And uh, it's it, it, just a heads up, they're not on the pet kind yet. I gotta order the pet kind. They're actually on the human kind right now, so they, they begin adjusting to this. So I'm ordering the pet stuff today. But this is on the Mormido. The difference between the pet formulation and also uh, the uh, human version is that there is actually um, a ingredient in the pet version uh, I, I, excuse me, uh, in the human version, that's not in the pet one, which is a, a, cit, a, cit, a citrus 
oil is what is in there, okay? So that's why the cats are a little skittish kind of, but they've got to eat anyways until I get the new Mormido coming in. But they're definitely changing on the Mormido, and we're getting a lot of testimonials about how these animals are changing a whole bunch right now um, on the Mormido and how they're becoming cooler pets and just uh, they're really good. So yes, that's that guys. Well, make sure you include your pet though. It's extremely ex inexpensive and all you're doing is giving it to them once and you know, um, twice a day, however much they eat, that's nothing compared. So it lasts a long time, it's cheap. You're gonna pay for pet bills anyways, you know, so you may as well keep your pet in the best standing. They're happy and they become super, what a superstar, super, uh, not human, super, you know, pets. <laughs> so that's my testimonial, guys. Have a good one and uh, make sure to include your pets. When you're becoming superhuman, you make them become super dupers also, okay? All right, blessings. Take care.